In this video, an object is initially at the origin, moving with velocity i plus 3j meters per second. It has constant acceleration of 2i minus j meters per second per second. Find the position of the object at time t and the distance it is from the origin after 100 seconds. OK, so S U V A and T. OK, so the uh, initial velocity is I plus 3J, so I plus 3J. It has constant acceleration of 2I minus J. And we want to find the position of the object at time T, OK? So in actual fact, right, we are saying that time is T, and we want to find the position in terms of T. OK, so T is still going to be uh, as part of the displacement equation. OK, so I want the equation that doesn't have V in it, which is number 3. So S is equal to U times T plus 1 half A T squared. So U is I plus 3J, and that's times T plus one half of a, which is 2i minus j, times t squared. Now the thing about this is that we've got a bit here with i's and j's and a bit here with i's and j's. And what we prefer to do is try to write all the i's and then all the j's. Okay, so something i plus something j. So. I'm going to expand this out. I'm going to have ti plus 3tj plus 1 half times 2i times t squared, so just t squared i, and then 1 half times minus j times t squared, so minus a half t squared j. So now I can group things together. So I've got the i's, ti and t squared i, so I can write that as t plus t squared i, so factoring the i out. And then for the j's, I can have 3t take away a half t squared j. Okay, It's now in a preferred format, because now I've got something i plus something j. So then uh, the distance it is from the origin after 100 seconds. So I want to first of all know what the displacement is when t is 100. OK, so I'm going to substitute 100 in, so I get 100 plus 100 squared, so 10,100i. And then 3 lots of 100 take away a half times 100 squared, and that gets me minus 4,700j. So that's the displacement. At, uh, after 100 seconds, but I want to know the distance it is from the origin. So I've got a right angle triangle that's gone 10,100 that way, then 4,700 that way. So 10,100 and 4,700. So the distance, okay, at t equals 100 is the hypotenuse of that triangle. So the square root of 10,100 squared plus 4,700 squared. And that gets 11,140 metres to, um, well, 4 sig fig. It would be 111, uh, sorry, 11,100 metres to 3 sig fig. But uh, that to the nearest metre is going to be fine. OK, so there is how I can determine uh, the answer to that problem.